Uh, uh, uh. Don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. Jonathan Thomas, the man in the moon, and Gorgonzola the horse started out to search about for the correct and proper course, for the road was long, and they followed it wrong, till they came to a deep, wide river, and there they stood as best they could, but most all they could do was to shiver, till Jonathan Thomas remembered the word which the dwarfs had spoken, and they had heard, and very hard to say, for it goes this way, Hon, squee, non, squee, giggly, they. And then, quick as a wink, before they could think, there came the noisiest sound, a rumbling, tumbling, bumbling bound that seemed to be all around. Then a flash of fire and a great big puff, which made them all sneeze, for it was smoky stuff. And then there appeared a fairy queen, the most beautiful queen that was ever seen. And she calmed their alarms by giving them charms to ward off the evil witch, who brewed her brew, as all witches do, in the land of Rumpelstitch. And she showed them the road which led over the hill to the nightmare forest, so dark and still. And she gave them an acorn to keep them awake. And then, in just two lambs of a shake, she was gone. And so Jonathan Thomas and the travelers three, who were as brave as brave as brave could be, they traveled away, well, most of the day, till they reached a place which made them stare and gave them a fright. For it was nearly night. T'was the dreadful forest of black nightmare. And the question arose, as you might suppose, who was to have the acorn in his keep? But the wisest course was Gorgonzola the horse, for it was a charm against evil and harm, and would keep them from falling asleep. So he held it in his mouth, and they climbed on his back, and gave him a whack, and again they headed due south. Now, if any of you boys should hear a strange noise... You tell the girls not to be afraid, for things would be bad and most horribly sad if rather than going, they'd stayed. And of course, you know, because they had to rescue Santa Claus. And all rescues are dangerous. But then, here's where the story begins again. Oh, we're off to the land of Scribble. We'll run and we'll walk and we'll hug What was that? I don't know, Jonathan Thomas, and I'm not going to stop to find out. Yeah, yeah. Giddy up, Gorgonzola. Oh, oh we're, we're off to the land of Sweet Bubble. We'll, we'll run, run and we'll walk and we'll hobble. We'll we'll oh, 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 Mr. Man in the Moon, I'm getting scared as two times two. What was that? Jiminy oh. Crickets, I don't know. Do you think it was the dragon which the fairy queen told us about? My goodness gracious, I'll bet that's what it is. Oh, more. Oh, we'd better find the pepper tree that the fair queen told us about, or the dragon will gobble us up, and I don't want to be gobbled up. And I don't even want to be gobbled down. <laughs> I wonder where that pepper tree is. Oh, you'll find it straight ahead, about 20 feet. <laughs> who's that? Yes, for oh. gracious sakes, who's that? That's me. But who are you? I don't see you anywhere. Of course you do. I'm standing right here. In front of you. Where? Right here. If you'd only see, I'm a tree. A tree? Did you say a tree? Of course I did. I'm a quaking aspen tree. Oh, but I didn't know that trees could talk. Some of them do. But of course the sappy ones don't. They just bark. If you please, Mr. Tree... Are you stuttering because you're cold? Of course I am. I'm shaking and quaking till my limbs are almost breaking. Oh, that must be awful. You'd think so if you'd been standing here as long as I have. Do you expect Mr. Man in the Moon? We could give him the horse blanket to keep him warm. Why, goodness gracious, of course. <laughs> that is if the horse doesn't mind. Do you mind Mr. Gorgonzola? Nope. It's okay with me. I'm always glad to help a tree. You, uh, you haven't uh, got a hot water bottle, have you? No, sir, Mr. Tree. And we're sorry as can be. But we can put the horse blanket around your feet. If you got any feet. Oh, just uh, wrap it around my roots and 
I'll be ever so much uh, 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 grateful. Yes, sir. Oh, well, there, Jonathan Thomas. Don't get off the horse or you'll fall asleep for a million trillion years. Oh, I almost forgot. We'll just have Gorgonzola move over closer to the tree. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Gorgonzola. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There now. Ha. I guess we can wrap up the tree from here. <laughs> you take one end of the blanket, Jonathan Thomas. Okay. And I'll take the tother. All <laughs> right. There. Mm, that's now. better. Oh, that's much better, Mr. Tree. Oh, yes. Thank you. Much better. And you're, you're very kind to think about me, for after all, I'm only a tree. Oh, thank you, Tree. And now, could maybe you tell us a about where the pepper tree is, if you please. It's uh, just ahead, about 20 feet. Oh, thank you very much, if you please. You're more than welcome. And now that I'm warm and curled up tight, I'll say thank you again. And, uh, uh, oh, oh dear. Oh, um, good night. Uh, oh. Um, um. Oh, he's gone to sleep. Goodness gracious. I'll guess he was so cool before he couldn't go to sleep. <laughs> Come on, Gorgonzola, we'd better hurry. Or don't you worry, the dragon will gobble us down. Oh, oh, oh there it is. Now, no, what was the word the fairy queen told us to say? Jiminy crickets, I've almost forgot. Now, let's see. Oh. Now, I remember it was one, two, three, please, pepper tree, give us some pepper ground. And if you do, it's nice of you, please throw it on the ground. White, red, or black? Oh, red, if you please. It's to make the dragon sneeze. Okay, one can of red pepper coming down. Thank you, sir. Don't mention it. For we trees always strive to please. And if we please you, then please tell others. And if we don't, then please tell us trees. Yes, sir. Come on, Gorgonzola. Now, Jonathan Thomas, it's growing late. Giddy up, Gorgonzola. Come on. Now, I bet if the old dragon tries to gobble us up... Or down, we'll, we'll fix, fix him. him. Say. Oh, oh, there he is again. Where? I don't see him, I hope. Oh, oh, oh right there. Oh, don't let him get me, Mr. Man in the Moon. Oh. Man. <laughs> halt. Stop. Stand still, I say. Whoa, whoa, Gorgonzola, whoa. Oh, look. Oh, He's got on a policeman's badge and a policeman's hat. Of course I have. And not only that, I've got my own court of law. For I'm the worst old dragon that anybody saw. But we haven't done anything, if you please, Mr. Dragon. That's what they all say. But just the same, they all must pay. For I'm the dragon of the thirteen tails. Oh, dear. Who moans and groans and weeps and wails. Who scares little boys oh. and puppy dogs, too, and gobbles them up before they can count up to two? My gracious to goodness. Who oh, is he going to gobble that up, Mr. Man in the Moon? Of course not. Yeah, yeah. We haven't got time to be gobbled up. That's your story. And with it, you're stuck. Oh, you won't have such very good luck. <laughs> and you'll make it easier if you stand right still... Till I've gobbled you up <laughs> and had my fill. Oh, no, we won't. Oh, no, we won't. I'm warning you now not to run. For ready or not, <laughs> here I come. Quick, <laughs> Jonathan Thomas. Throw the red pepper at him. Hurry up quicker than fast. Oh, all right. But I hope he can do it straight. Here it goes. Oh, goodness gracious, you hit the mark. Come on, Jonathan Thomas. We'd better fly like a bird on the wing. Oh, he's coming after us again. Giddy up, Gorgonzola. Run like everything. (laughs) 
Well, now. Do you suppose that terrible dragon with the 13 tails will be able to stop sneezing long enough to catch up with Jonathan Thomas and the man in the moon? Dragons can run awfully fast, you know. But we hope he doesn't, don't we? And we'll find out in the next story of Jonathan Thomas, too. So don't miss it, will you? I win. Thank <laughs> you.